So I recently got this bouquet and I love how it looked. But since these are very expensive, I thought to dissect it and learn how to make it myself. First I removed all of the flowers and kept them in a vase. Later I used them to make dried flowers. And I also make a video about that but that's a story for another day. So I observed the overall look of the bouquet and there is oasis or like floral foam inside it. It's a cylindrical in shape. Then there is this ribbon and it's tied this way. It's holding all of the paper together. There are three papers on each side of this paper which is in center. And they're taped like that to each other and also to their own sides. So I'm practicing using newspaper. I kept the original one in front. So I kept the single sheet in center. And rest of the sheets are doubled on themselves for a puffy outer edge. Lay three sheets on each side in descending order. The one next to the center sheet should be the tallest. Place the floral form in the middle of the center sheet. Place the floral form in the center and a comparatively smaller but doubled sheet over it. Pick it all together and crumple the bottom in your hand. Hold it like this so it gets the shape and adjust the folds from front and back. Cut all of the excess ends, trim it and make it all even. Then wrap a ribbon or whatever you want around it. You can now put flowers with long stems inside it, but I suggest doing this before assembling the bouquet. If you don't have floral foam, you can use any cylinder, a pen holder, a jar, any cup, uh, a cereal jar or a thermopole that's cut in circle. To tie around, you can use a jute rope or a twist tie. To keep inside, you can use mini stuffed toys or a combination with flowers or eatables and chocolates or makeup products, tiny makeup products. I suggest using this tip if the book isn't holding well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is just me showing the sizes and number of sheets used in the original bouquet. Thank you for watching.